टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज मेनोरेजिया Menorrhagia is defined as cyclic bleeding at regular intervals but the bleeding is either excessive in amount that is more than 85 ml or in duration that is more than 7 days but the cycle is regular Menorrhagia is a symptom of some underlying pathology it may be due to functional cause may be due to organic cause functional cause is due to disturbed hypothalamus pituitary ovarian endometrial axis this axis is a tightly regulated system controlling female reproduction menorrhagia may results from any defect in this axis and pelvic pathology is one of the most important cause of menorrhagia now i am suggesting you a mnemonic so that you can remember the organic causes of menorrhagia easily the mnemonic is p shed p e s h e d p shed p for pelvic pathology and i will discuss the pelvic pathologies shortly and e for endocrine cause that is hypo and hyperthyroidism s for systemic cause like liver dysfunction hypertension and congestive cardiac failure h for hematological problems like bleeding disorders platelet deficiency idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura leukemia e for emotional upset and t stands for drugs like aspirin anticoagulants now coming to the pelvic pathologies now here also i am giving you a mnemonic so that you can remember the causes easily the mnemonic is fatty girl but here the spelling of fatty is not f a t y it is f a t then e e then girl g i r l f for fibroid fibroid is the most common benign tumor of the uterus histologically it is a tumor composed of smooth muscle and fibrous connective tissue a for adenomyosis this is a condition where there is ingrowth of endometrium directly into the myometrium in the picture you can see the endometrium has grown into the myometrium now don't confuse it with fibroid because fibroid is the muscle tumor that grows in the wall of uterus this is fibroid and this is adenomyosis t for tubercular endometritis endometritis is inflammation of endometrium now when this inflammation occurs due to tubercle bacilli it is called 
tubercular endometritis. Now E for fat E girl, E for endometriosis. It is the presence of functioning endometrium in sites other than uterine mucosa. G for granulosa cell tumor of ovary. Now all of us know granulosa cells of ovary secrete estrogen in response to FSH hormone. Primary function of estrogen is to proliferate the endometrium. When there is tumor of granulosa cell, the amount of estrogen secretion will be very high. Estrogen keeps proliferating the endometrium. Now we all know that estrogen can support the endometrium. Under the influence of estrogen, the endometrium becomes so thick and so weak that it sheds, which results in heavy bleeding. I for IUCD users, intrauterine contraceptive device users, R for retroverted uterus. This is a picture of normal uterus. This is urinary bladder and this is rectum. A retroverted uterus means the uterus is tipped backwards so that it aims towards the rectum instead of forward towards the belly. In the picture you can see the retroverted uterus. Menorrhagia is common in this condition. This is due to altered state of endometrium and persistent edematous graphene follicle. As the graphene follicle is persistent, there is increased amount of estrogen which causes proliferation of endometrium and results in heavy bleeding. Last is L, L for lump. Basically, it is chronic tubo-ovarian mass. 